All right then. Oh, this looks great. This shot looks great instead of all sideways and everything though. So, hello, it's me again, Vince, and welcome back to another merch look at for today though. Now, um, I have the box right here. <laughs> um, but before we get started, actually with this merch look at, you guys may notice all this stuff here has changed and everything though, but I will address that in another video entirely. Um, Altogether, I just did want to do this merch look at since this came virtually out of nowhere. I didn't know this was going to come today. Um, I didn't know I was going to make a video because um, if you guys didn't see my uh, community um, post recently, though, you guys should definitely check it out. Um, I made a post about the new video schedule that I'm going to be um, start following now and that, uh, when videos are coming out and stuff though. So there's going to be a dedicated schedule to when stuff is coming out instead of randomly and sporadically um, that I usually used to do. And as well that I have a bunch of videos edited already. I already shot them. I already edited them. They are just going to be uploaded throughout the next few days um, continuously until I make the new videos that I'm uh, planning on doing now. So I have one more merch look at I need to um, do after this one. And then after that, I'm going to be shooting all new videos and all new stuff because uh, Spider-Verse coming out as well as uh, the Boogeyman and all that other stuff. So I need to get some of those trailer reactions out. But um a lot of this stuff again is going to be uh more trailer reactions and stuff going on as well as hopefully more podcast stuff coming soon and other reviews and things i need to get to but um as well as the fact that um uh the next tri uh, main video or the newest video i'm going to record besides the this uh merch look as well as uh, another one i have uh coming up it is going to be the five nights of freddy's trailer reaction now since I know a lot of the time I'm late for them, but what does it matter though? But we're not gonna get into all that until I make all those videos and I address everything. But for now, we're here for this big ass box from Big Bad Toy Store. Now, we all know now at this point that Big Bad Toy Store is becoming the best of the best around here now um, when it comes to stuff. So, um, this is another box that I've been excited for a long while, although that's been a I keep saying this now, many years in the making, many years, because, um, once you guys see the thumbnail and the title, though, so, we're just gonna jump right into it, so I will talk about it once, um, I get it out here, but I missed out on the original release of this, uh, this figure, always wanted it, because for me personally, it is uh, the best articulated version, or the best figure of uh, this version of uh, Godzilla, yes, of Shin Godzilla specifically. I missed out on the first version, as well as I missed out on the Frozen version and the Atomic Breath uh, Fourth Awakening version. But since now, with your boy making as much money as he does now, outside of YouTube, um, since I was able to afford it, Big Bad Toy Store had it for a pretty decent price. And I was like, you know what? It's been a long time since I bought an SH Monsters figure because a lot of them have been stupid expensive. I couldn't stay on top of it or grab them as much as I used to back in the old days. If you guys were old subscribers, you remember I always had a lot of the Monster Arts and I stopped collecting them for a bit because I couldn't afford a lot of them. But now, uh, thanks to what I do and my job and as well as your guys support in doing this uh, whole thing of social media Oh my bad and uh, being a show host uh, internet show host um, I've been able to finally grab one of the uh, I consider one of my holy grail figures in my collection I always wanted one of the many monster arts I always wanted and it's specifically the newest version that I think is the best since I've been told a lot that the joints were way more better. Uh, the paint and the way it looks is way more better um, than the first release. The tail doesn't fall off and everything and um, all that good stuff. So I was like, you know what, if I'm going to get one, it might as well be this one since I thought it looked incredible when they first showed those pictures off of this version of uh, Shin Godzilla. So. And as well, Shin Godzilla is my f one of my f uh, second favorite uh, Godzilla designs of all time. So, and this is going to replace my uh, Shin Godzilla NECA figure I have on the chronological order set. So he's going to move elsewhere. But we got the sticker as usual. Again, thank you to Big Bad Toy Store. 
If they want to sponsor me, I am completely happy with that. So, thanks to them for this next box. Let me see if I can pull this out. And, oh, you can see him through the packaging. Oh, there he is. Oh my god. <laughs> Put him off to the side there. And let's see. Haven't done this in a while, so let's do it. Yeah, there it is. All right. So this is my first SH Monsters figure in uh, quite a few years. And the Holy Grail figure that I always wanted of Shin Godzilla, of uh, any Godzilla figure. I always wanted the SH Monsters figure. So this is the um, Shin Godzilla, Godzilla 2016, the fourth night combat version. Now this is the version of uh, Shin Godzilla that I believe appears in the mid point of the movie though at nighttime so you can see on the package he's glowing and everything though so i just gave you a basic history of my relationship with this and this box in person is incredible it's huge i don't have a lot of the monsters box because a lot of them i had to get rid of when i moved um from uh my old place but the thing is that i've been told that the details were way better and as well as that he has translucent plastic and the joints are a little more sturdier than the original. So you can see him right in the packaging right there and he's looking gorgeous. Let me tell you right there. So you can see him chilling there. And on the side of the packaging, you could see some of the, the artwork on the side, the promotional pictures of when they showed this guy off and it looks really cool right there though. So you can see it all there. And again, this very shiny, uh, Firmished Godzilla image right there. It looks so cool. And of course on the side you got nothing Unfortunately, and you just do have the name of the figure. Why is it called the fourth night version? Uh, fourth night combat version. That's a weird name uh, For me personally, it's a Japanese thing probably but uh, nothing else at the bottom You do have uh, just some legal mumbo jumbo and other stuff in Japanese though, as well as a picture of the figure again in the name Shin Gojira so enough blabbing about this Enough blabbing about this. I'm stupid excited for this. I want to open this. Now, uh, uh, there is a lot of other monster arts that I do want to grab, of course. Um, a lot of them to put in the collection on the shelf here. But this is just one that I really wanted to jump on before uh, you couldn't get it anymore on Big Bad Toy Story. Uh, right now, they still have him. So if you want to actually grab him, you still can. I might put a link in the description if I remember to do so. Ooh, the plastic smell! Oh, okay. And let's uh, just close this up real quick. If I can, <laughs> with, with one hand. Let me put them off to the side here. Close up. Dang, gum it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm just gonna put this off to the side here. I'm actually just gonna back there, so don't worry about that. Now, definitely, I'm gonna take pictures of this guy for the end of the video. And as well, I'm gonna, as usual with these uh, unboxing merch look at, I'm gonna put um, some B-roll footage of up close stuff and size comparisons and all that. So I'm a little afraid. There we go. Woo! Oh my god. Shin Godzilla. You smell funky. You smell like addictions. Oh and oh he oh he's heavy. Oh there he is. Put that over there. Jesus. Now let's take the plastic off of him wow look at that he feels like quality feels rubbery because of the translucent plastic and this the lighting here is not doing this justice though because from my angle with the ring light i could see perfectly through yeah he's completely red when i look through him though so look at that just test out the articulation. You could have him bend so far forward. Not so much high. 
You get him with his mouth. I want to see the eyes. Because that's been the issue with the first version. It's not bad on mine. On my Shin Godzilla, his mouth closed all the way too. Because in the first version, the eyes were not particularly adjusted. His neck could move to side to side. His little, his little nubby uh, arms here. Could move. Right there. And yeah, definitely the fins on the back are really sharp. So you could probably take this shit and like, thwop, somebody with the, you could kill somebody with this, I think. So I'm gonna be careful. His big chunky legs with his uh, grotesquely amazing, amazing, amazing feet right there. You get some motion and that's all ball joints. And you could see the tip end of the tail here. It's got some hair on it. It's weird. Yeah, and this thing is definitely way sturdier. Nothing has fallen off of this guy yet. Yes, yeah, so you could see like the tail. Yeah, this thing is a unit. This tail <laughs> alone is enormous. I know that um, I heard you, if you had the original, you could replace the tail tip uh, with a uh, you could replace the tip um, with the original. Place the original uh, right there onto this one because it'll pop off easy. I want to see inside the mouth. Oh, it's shiny. They put like metallic paint inside the, the mouth right there inside that, that thing. And it opens up really wide oh, right there. But I don't think I'll be displaying him with his mouth open. I like him just chilling. Uh, looking the way he does, sort of, you kind of get him like a weird dirt face. It looks amazing looking at it from the front. It looks so cool from the front. I'm gonna see if I could, like, maybe position the tail like the movie right there. Yeah, there you go. Looking at that from the front, look at that. Look how cool that looks from the front. And to me, it looks like the original. I didn't have any problems with the paint like everyone else did, but I could see like how the translucent red makes it so much more movie accurate. I'm not here for accuracy, as you guys know. Like looking at this, like the red, it looks straight out the movie. Like the cracks and the, the scarred, charred look of it with the black over it. I'm not sure if it's black. It looks black and gray. Almost to me, I love that you can get him like hunch all the way down and stand all the way forward. Though like that, and I love his little his little burn like like gnarly gnarly. That's the word I'm looking for. Gnarly arms, his hands, and the back. It looks like that shit is glowing. You could see like like his back right there, though um has like the red popping out. This thing is a badass. See, this is why I miss Monsters so much because as much as people complain about them with me, they always seem to impress me with uh, the articulation, the detail, and the quality of how these things look. They look incredible, especially this guy. I'm happy I picked this up. And I finally have a actually good looking Shin Godzilla in the collection. I haven't talked about the, the nub here, right there, so you could probably see it. And again, in uh, the, the B roll footage, you could probably see it way better than I can though so um or way better on that than what's there but you could see it it has like some white dry brush on it though definitely you can't see the face that's on big you see like the nub right there and it has a little bit of dry brushing you can see like the bones and the parts to it the spines and you can see like the tail again like the details of not just the figure but the design itself like how it starts from just regular fins going down like in regular Godzilla and it starts tapering up, getting sharper in the middle like a crocodile. And it stops like midpoint. I'm not sure if his tail is aligned correctly because it looks like it's not to me. I don't know. But this thing is huge. I don't have Godzilla Ultima yet. He's another one I'm uh, looking to grab though. But uh, I don't know how long his tail is compared to, compared to Shin's. I just don't like this pose. Like that looks weird to me just feeling around with the tail is so much fun though get like looking something 
Because it should look like it's just swaying. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there it is. Alright, now... Thing is to see... Oh, he stands perfectly. There's no, like, weird issues or anything. His feet are... Uh... Flat on the ground. And again, his head can't move. The neck can't move side to side. Now when you get him... Looking like that. Even the eyes, like when you look in the eye sockets, they got the red in there. Just like the movie. I'm just impressed. And even the teeth, because it was the problem with the original. The teeth were like painted all weird and they didn't look right. Though I'm on the original, but these are painted like this bone type color. There's not much issues I'm seeing. Though on it, they painted almost all the teeth that are coming out of his mouth and including the ones that are in his mouth though there's not like any bleeding or weird gum issues or something uh, uh crazy like that but i'm impressed with this yeah every time i hold his back it's like sharp yeah it's really sharp these fins can probably do some damage so i would be careful with that i haven't hurt myself yet but um i really wish you guys could see how i'm seeing this guy from Again, the light hitting it because you could see it like pouring all through there. Like if you put a light behind this or if you could find a way to put a light inside of it, this thing definitely pops. I think the added addition of the translucent plastic does help like so much uh, with this uh, this figure, especially that they redesigned it from the original. Apparently, it was supposed to be a one that glowed kind of like the Godzilla 89 they had, but I don't know if, if they translate it into this figure, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So I want to get him in like a... A pose you wouldn't regularly see. Yeah, see, there you go. Like, he's like, like, ferocious, like, coming at you. Rawr, almost like that. Or maybe the head's a little... Yeah, there we go. Now, now he looks more ferocious. There you go. I am super impressed with this guy. He is really huge, though. I'm, I think he's around seven inches tall. I think he's taller than some of the regular uh, figures, though. But he's a pretty hefty guy. He's a unit, especially with his tail. It's heavy. And look, I'm moving it, and nothing's budging like the original. Nothing's falling off, though. Uh, it's secured on. The joints are perfectly secured on. Because some of the monsters I do have, some parts do fall off of them. Like some of the hands and parts of the tail, maybe. I have one where an arm, complete arm falls off, but uh, this doesn't have any of those weird issues that I've experienced. The joints are perfectly stiff. I could pose it in so many crazy ways here, though. I'm still trying to get this whole pose down of the tail moving like that. I want to see if you can get the arms close enough. Okay, yeah, you can. Cause that's how it looks in the movie it's supposed to be really close to his chest like that i don't know why they don't they have his hands out like this it should be going up but whatever um but this is super cool i am impressed with this for a monster starts in a while and a brand new one i'm happy i got this guy especially now that i have a, a definitive shin godzilla in my collection eventually i'm gonna get a shin godzilla statue that sits on this this desk here all the time though but uh, we'll see if that ever happens though so um we'll, we'll see if it happens though so hope you guys enjoyed this merch look at of the brand new i'm gonna move this guy out of the way again don't mind this the way the set looks though that's for the next video uh coming up though so right there i'm gonna have him sit there like he's walking towards you so hope you guys enjoyed this merch look at of the brand new sh monster arts uh fourth night combat version shin godzilla uh, brand new again. Thank you to Big Bad Toy Store. Oh, right there. Let me put their fuck it. Just put their logo right in front of there. So thank you again to Big Bad Toy Store for this uh, this new figure right here. I'm very impressed with this guy. If you guys could still get a chance to find him up on there, I'll put hopefully I'll put the link in the description below so you guys could go grab him right now. He's still in stock though right now for 149 bucks though, which is how much I paid for him. It's just pretty good, unlike a lot of these prices I've been seeing for this guy, which go way higher than that. I don't think I don't think it's worth it like that. But if you could get this guy for a good price, I would definitely say grab him, especially over the original and the fact that the joints are way stiffer 
the added inclusion of the translucent plastic as well as that he's very sturdy though and the detail looks incredible on this guy and very very screen uh screen accurate to the film it looks incredible i love this figure and i can't wait to pose him and take pictures with him with all the other monsters figures and stuff i have in my collection though so he's definitely going on the chronological order godzilla shelf replacing the neck of godzilla uh shin godzilla that's been sitting there for the past few years so hope you guys enjoyed rate comment share, subscribe you can check out my links in the description below for all my social medias as well as my youtube banner you can check it out in my about section though and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed so rate comment share, subscribe thumbs up thumbs down watch videos so see you next time i'm audi 5000 and i'll see you guys all next time and stay tuned for more content coming uh later this week and throughout next week so i'll see you guys next time